profile leveling. The equipment used for profile leveling. A steel tape. An automatic level. A surveyor's tripod. A surveyor's rod or Philadelphia rod. And a field book. So here's the project site. This is the southwest corner of the Harrison County campus. The purpose of profile leveling is to determine elevations along a proposed or existing route. The first step is to locate the points to be surveyed. This is done by measuring out equally spaced intervals on the route surface with the steel tape. Typically this is done in 25 to 50 foot intervals. So let's zoom in on the site just a bit more. First we mark the 25 foot intervals down the center on the route. Then the instrument is set up and a backside is taken to a benchmark. This happens to be the top of a manhole cover. A height of instrument is calculated in the field book. Then intermediate foresights are taken and subtracted from the height of instrument. We do this until we can no longer see the rod clearly. Once the points are not visible through the instrument, then the instrument is moved. A backside is taken to the previous point to determine a new height of instrument. Then intermediate foresights are continued and they are subtracted from the new height of instrument. When all points along the route have been surveyed, the process is complete. Okay, so let's look at how profile leveling is done in the field book. Um, first off, we would put the same information on the right hand side of here. We put the complete uh, written out date. We would put weather conditions, the temperature, uh, if it were cloudy, sunny, um, and then we would write our first and last name here very clearly. Um, on the left hand side, we would have uh, a title. Uh, profile leveling, this would be the name of the project that you were working on. And then the field book is set up a little differently. Um, we've got an extra column in here. Um, so we've got station, backsight, height of instrument, intermediate foresight, foresights, and elevations. So the intermediate foresights are all the points down the center of the road. These are the points that we're shooting the most elevations of. So just like in differential leveling, we would have a benchmark that we would shoot to, and in the video it shows um, a storm drain or a manhole cover. So we have given it an elevation, uh, a determined elevation of 161.27 feet. So the elevation gets added to our first backsight reading of benchmark one those two are added together to give us the height of instrument. And then we would start shooting elevations down the center of the road. 
what the video does not show you is we, we actually shoot a turning point off of the edge of the road. Um, it is not one of the points down the center of the road. Uh, it would be on top of a curb, uh, off to the side of the road, uh, somewhere in the gutter, um, uh, a, 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 another point of elevation that we would determine. So what we do is once we have shot the elevation of benchmark one and we have measured out our intervals down the road, this is how we actually number them. So our first point would be zero plus zero zero. The second point would be zero plus 50 if we were doing 50 foot increments. The next point would be one plus zero zero, which is 100 feet away. One plus 50 is 150 feet. Two plus zero zero. And as we work our way down the road, the numbers uh, increase. Um, once we have shot elevations as far as we can and we cannot read the numbers anymore on the rod, that's when we would shoot a turning point. And we are doing that so that we can pick up the instrument and move it closer to our next points. So we would shoot a back sight to a marked spot on the curb. We would get that back sight reading we would add it to the last elevation that we had to give us a height of instrument and then we would continue with the numbers again okay so profile leveling really isn't any different than differential leveling you are just shooting multiple elevations off of one height of instrument very similar to spot elevations